the WNBA on 2K Sports. Welcome in, everybody. And tonight, it'll be the Dallas Wings going up against the Los Angeles Sparks. Here with Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and it's good to have you with us. This is an important game in the Commissioner's Cup. Both teams have a shot to make the final. And that adds another layer of excitement to this one. A regular season game with extra go. importance. Each squad very much alive in the cup race. So the Sparks will get the first possession. And here's Tolliver. Clock at six. 11 feet out. It's rebounded by Sabali. Harris with it. Outside of Gugawale. They get the rebound. Pass to Harris. Over Tolliver. Back to Gugawale. Harris. And another miss by Dallas. And we're about one minute into the first. That one falls. Her ability is matched only by her energy, guys. She's usually in the middle of everything for them. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. Well, as an offensive player, you always want to put pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Now here's Harris. Pass to Thornton. And here's Sabali. Sabali the screen. Agumbawale. Arike Agumbawale with another miss. Now here's Duchess. Back to Tolliver. Now here's Duchess. And they get in the way. Looks like they were going for the alley-oop. Not to be. Pass to Harris. To the middle. McCowan. Over Tolliver. That one a little long. Trying to get something going. They're over five to start. Here's Billings, guarded by Sabali. And the ball out of play, the Wings will have it. Here's the Wings with the ball. Looking for their first bucket of the game. Thornton outside. There's a screen by McCowan. Thornton with it. Ogumake picks her up. Here's Sabali. No good on that shot. And it's the Sparks the other way. Well, when Dallas traded away Skyler Diggins-Smith, one thing became very clear. This was Arike Ogumawale's team. And boy, has she ever stepped up as the face of the franchise. Now here is Ogumake. And the layup's good off the glass. Gotta appreciate just how polished Ogumake is down there. Outstanding at taking it up strong. Dallas calls timeout. Ogumbawale, a steal in the 2019 draft, going fifth overall. A rookie of the year in that 2019 campaign. A first-team All-WNBA selection during her second year in 2020. Arike winning a scoring title in that wobble season solidifying herself as the leader of the Dallas Wings.
We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Now here's Harris. She's covered by Tolliver. Left side of Gumbawale. Five to shoot. Kicks it out to Saboli. Good, and the assist goes to Agumbawale. Perhaps the D was focusing too much on Ogumbawale. Maybe that's why she found a, a wide open teammate. Up top, Duchess. Guarded now by Agumbawale. Outside, Tolliver. Pass to Duchess. Ogumake. From deep three-point range, an absolute bomb from three-point range. And this is the start they wanted. Come out and put some points up early, hitting three or four. Here's Harris. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Sabali the screen. On the wings, Satu Sabali. Thornton. Charity stripe shot. Harris can't hit. Well, that's just not a sight you see very often because she has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when she's open. Now here's Tolliver. Pass to Billings. Ogumake. Shoots over Harris. Misses off the right iron. The wings trail. Back to Gumbawale. Sabali the screen. Gumbawale shot is off. On an open look like that, she's just got a gift for making the weak coverage pay. That's a surprising miss. Uh, she's almost always deadly when she's that open, even from way downtown. Pass to Billings. to Tolliver. Here's the three. Tries again. And the layup good by Ogumake. Crashing the boards with ferocious intensity. Ogumake is a cutthroat rebounder. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. And Agumbo Wale gets it to go. That type of D, it's just not going to cut it. They got to get a hand in her face. Too good of a shooter. Timeout, timeout. timeout called the Sparks. Not only is this a key regular season game, it also weighs heavy in the Commissioner's Cup standings. Yeah, each of these squads has a chance to get into the final. It is a must win if you're talking about the cup race. Dallas going with an almost entirely new group here. Outside Hayes. And that one good. As underrated as they come, Hayes is a star who doesn't command the attention that her play deserves. Gray outside. 
Pass to Gumbawale. And there's the foul. It'll go on Hayes. That is her first foul of the game. First team foul. Outside Mabry. Over Canada. Four on the shot clock. Pass to Gumbawale. She has been anything but her usual self this quarter. It's been ugly. And that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready to react as soon as the shot goes up. Now here is Canada. Here's Nelson Adota. Good on the shot. What a superb pass from Jordan Canada. When she notices someone's open, she makes sure they get the ball. Gray outside. Mabry. Off target from outside. Outside Hayes. Here's the pick. There's the three. Dallas with the rebound. Very close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Not a great habit to get into, Alicia. letting her get that wide open. Constantly in a position to score. Gray loves to shoot it off of a crisp pass. Alicia Gray won a national championship with the final game played in Dallas. And just a few days later, Gray was selected fourth overall by, you guessed it, Dallas. Now here's Mabry. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Offensive rebound. In the basket by Collier. It's a tie ball game. One of the many reasons Collier was the first overall pick. She is an elite offensive rebounder. Outside Hayes. Nelson Adota, covered by Collier. Walker the screen. Number three, Tiffany Hayes. And the ball out of play, the Wings will have it. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. So it's Dallas now. Gray outside. Harris in the screen. Over Walker, and again, it's Alicia Dallas Gray. converting. And Alicia Gray winning Rookie of the Year for the Wings in 2017. Yeah, she hit the ground running in this league, and Gray has really never looked back. With a nice size for a guard, Gray is your prototypical two guard. Yeah, she's been off her game this quarter, just hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go down. Pass to Mabry. Gray. Harrison the screen. Over Walker. And it's Gray missing. The Sparks trailing. Sykes outside. Now Nelson Adota to the wing on the left. Number three, Tiffany Hayes. Here's Walker. And it's in off the backboard. On the glass, Walker can be just a menace. Scoops up the rebound and quickly sends it back. Outside of Wale. To the inside. Pass to Collier. A soft touch off the glass. It's going to take more than that to throw Collier off. That's a strong presence for Charlie down low. Now here is Hayes. Defense right on her. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. And she'll shoot one more at the line. One shot. And that one drops, so they lead by one. Such a rarity. Tiffany Hayes was a second-round pick 
who's made an all WNBA first team. Hayes, a star in this league for a long time. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Sparks ahead. They're up by one. And we'll return shortly. a close game here as we get back to the second quarter and let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the sparks guys the work they've done to get in close offensively the difference right now and i like that they aren't settling for outside shots just keep attacking the rim very aggressive dallas with the ball they trail by one Outside, Sobley. Gray outside. Over Sykes. Gray, no good. And it's the Sparks ball. Duchess, covered by Harris. Pass to Billings. Ogumake to the paint. Ogumake, that's good. Heads up by Ogumake to find her teammate. She draws so much attention. It can lead to easy buckets for others. Now Harris. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Sabali down low. Gray. Sabali the screen. Gray, no good. Sparks leading. And here's Duchess. Pass to Agumake. Duchess, covered by Harris. Now Billings. Here's Agumake. No good on the three. And we're a little over a minute and a half into this second quarter of action. Harris with it. Pass to Sabali. Shoots over Duchess. Good. Look at how Sabali outworks the contact, makes it through, and gets to her finish. What an amazing effort. Sykes outside. to Duchess and here's Billings out to Agumake now here's Duchess another shot the basket good off the assist from Neko Agumake a section of her game she has really worked on Neka sees the floor well sets others up some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum. Here's Gray, and it's all evened up. You know, some players you give that shot to, but let me be clear. She is not one of them. Terrible job by the defense. Now here is Sykes. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Side and stolen by Satu Sabali. From 11 feet away. Goes back up. And the layup is good. I love the effort and energy Sabali brings to the boards. Great second chance effort there. Sykes outside. Pass to Agumake. Duchess. Sykes outside. And here's Duchess. Covered by Harris. Six on the shot clock. Here's Duchess. Rejected by Tierra McCowan. Dallas in the lead. Here's Harris. Pass to Thornton. Fires the three. Rebounded by Sykes. Sykes. 
Duchess with it. Now Billings, guarded by Savoy. Up top, Duchess. Obumake. Here, Sykes. The Sparks, no good that time either. So it's Dallas now. Their defense has allowed only four points in the quarter. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Obumake. That's her first foul. Both teams deciding to change it up. Substitution on the court. Up top, Duchess defending. Thornton outside. Just five on the clock. And the foul called on Duchess. That is the first foul of the game. Second team foul. In for the wings, Isabel Harrison. Mabry. Shot clock at six. And the layup is good. Mixing it up inside. Mabry might be under six feet, but her toughness showing there. The Sparks trailing. Well, after averaging just four points per game as a rookie, Marina Mabry was traded to Dallas prior to the 2020 season. And let me tell you, that move kick-started her career. The shot will not fall. Now the Sparks take it the other way. Pass to Duchess. Oliver with the ball. Mabry covering. Oliver, that's good. And since being traded in 2020, Marina Mabry has really stepped up her game. A more than doubling her scoring average, Mabry's become an elite three-point shooter. Plus, Marina's really routed out the other part of her games, really taking on more of a, a playmaking role. Left side, Mabry. Thornton, she's covered by Ogumake. Fades and shoots. The shot by Thornton, no good. That's a shot. She's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. Ogumake outside. There's the lob to the hoop. And she lays in the alley-oop pass. It's all knotted up. I think Tolliver was born to assist because it seems like finding open teammates is in her DNA. Gordon outside. Harrison the screen. Here's Gray. From down in the low post, it goes. She's been one of their more reliable options today, and it's her shooting that has given them this lead. I'm out called the Sparks. Well, they want to tinker with the game plan a little bit, and now's the time to do it. Yeah, there was clearly some things going on out there that the coaching staff just wasn't a fan of.
outside Canada. Pass to Walker from downtown. Again, the miss by the Sparks. Gray outside. Enrique Agumbawale on the wing. Cans it from downtown. Well, whether Enrique is off the dribble, screen, catch and shoot, spotting up, whatever. She hits threes pretty much every way possible. Pass to Hayes. Good, and Jordan Canada gets the assist. Well, that pick, it worked like a charm. Nice job taking it right to the tin for the layup. Now here's Mabry. Guarded by Canada. Now Harrison. Outside Mabry. Six to shoot. Harrison sets the screen. Over Canada. And Dallas again with the bucket. Great footwork by Harrison. So active. A very nice pick and roll partner who will cut hard. Outside Tolliver. Out to the left wing. Here's Nelson Adota. Good on the three-point shot. And I saw a little confusion amongst the D as to who was supposed to be guarding her. Outside Mabry. Ardun Bawale. In it goes. That's her third bucket. And she's missed five so far. Looks like they've shifted the approach away from trying to three ball. Yeah, they started out a little slow from there and uh, they're trying something different for now. To the wing, right side. Nelson Adota. No good from outside. That's a look you can't pass up. It's also one you shouldn't miss. Gray outside. For three. Nelson Adota with the rebound. Outside Hayes. Outside Canada. There's a screen. Tries from 10. And it's blocked by Enrique Agumbawale. Oliver, no good. Dallas in the lead. And here's Mabry. A kick out to Agumbawale. Stolen by Christy Tolliver. Pass to Canada. Tiffany Hayes on the wing. Good. And Jordan Canada gets the assist. Makes a good team a great team. It's Hayes' intensity that gets her whole team going. Rena Mabry for three. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Wings out in front, leading by just two. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter going. now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. Really an incredible game from Neko Gumake. Her play in the first half was very disciplined, very efficient. Her shot selection was consistently excellent. That's right. And uh, whether it's been from mid-range or in tight, she's taking only what the defense is giving her and not trying to do too much. Start of the third quarter here after a closely contested first half. And it's the wings ball. The lead is two. Pass to Thornton. Sabali. Sabali the screen. There's a Goomba Wale with the three. Knocks down the three ball. The pick and roll game is the bread and butter for Ogum Wale. Loves working off picks and finding little spaces to operate. 
Well, Enrique Agumbawale went to back-to-back -back national title games, and her college teams were loaded. I mean, she was teammates with 2019 first overall pick, Jackie Young. Pass to Billings. Oliver, covered by Harris. 13 feet out. McCowan with the rebound. Those college teams that Arike played for, insanely talented. O'Brien mentioned Jackie Young, also sharpshooter Marina Mabry. We've seen her excel in the league. And you add in Brianna Turner, Jessica Shepard. I mean, Arike was part of a WNBA level starting five back in the college days. And a foul on Neko Gumi. That'll be her second foul of the game. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Pass to Sabali. Shot clock at five. Left side of Gumbawale. Shoots over Duchess. She has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it really hasn't affected the team that much. To the left wing. Now here's Harris. She's covered by Tolliver. Down low. Up top, Harris. Inside. McCowan with the bucket. And Harris plays with such a strong basketball intellect, guys. Great job in finding the wide open teammate there. Pass to Agumake. Back to Tolliver. The tray. Dallas with the rebound. Now Harris. Now Gumbawale from outside the arc. And again, it's Dallas with a three. They're three of four to start the half. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Pass to Agumake. Over Thornton. Oh, Gumake, that's good. Riding the wave of momentum. Agumake is feeling it and attacking the defense with ferocity. Outside Agumawale. Now here is McCowan. She's covered by Agumake. Now here is McCowan. She's guarded closely. Down to five on the shot clock. Beyond the arc. And she's good on the three ball. Great outside shooting is really fueling this run. And the D's just getting bombarded. They haven't been able to slow them down. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Pass to Agumake. Over Thornton. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. How nice is it to see the use of the mid-range right there. Uh, Agumake just has a great feel for the game. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Both loose. Duchess with the steal. Tolliver with the ball. Ogumake outside. Tolliver. Pass to Ogumake. Here's Duchess. Back to Ogumake. Shot clock at six. Duchess with it. The three. Knocked loose, but they'll get another chance. Here's Tolliver, covered by Harris. Just five to shoot. Tries again. Tolliver, no good. Now here's Harris. Pass to Gumbawale. McCowan. Up top of Gumbawale. There's a screen by McCowan. Shot high post. And here's Harris. Agunbawale. She's covered by Agumake. And Harris gets it to go. Soft touch around the rim. You don't want Harris to catch you out of position inside. Timeout called the Sparks. Well, at 6'7", Tierra McCowan certainly makes the most of her frame. In each of her first three years in the league, 
McCowan led the league in offensive rebounds. to Duchess. Now Nelson Adota. And here's Walker, defended by Harrison. Sykes outside. Four on the clock. Now here's Duchess. Hayes. To the paint. Nelson Adota. The Sparks no good that time either. Dallas with the ball. Outside Agumawale. Pass to Gray. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Sykes right side. Isabel Harrison with some nice D. Outside Mabry. Pass to Harrison. And can't cash in from close range. Here's Sykes. Looking for a first basket still in this one. To the middle. Nelson Adota. And the bucket counts, and she's on her way to the line to try to make it a three-point play. in the lead. Outside Mabry. Pass to Collier. Gray. The screen by Collier. To the inside. Canada with it. Picked up by Mabry. To the paint. It's Brittany Sykes on the wing. Walker the screen. Here's Sykes. Walker. Here's Nelson Adota. That one goes. Count it. Tremendous job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot. Gave her a little pump fake and it opened it right up for her. Outside Agumawale. Back to Mabry. Pass to Agumawale. Down low. Here's Gray. 
And the defense didn't have position. They whistle a blocking foul, and she'll go to the line. It's on Brittany Sykes. Yeah, in Gray's first season, she actually led all rookies in points scored per game. And she was simply effective right from the start. Alicia. Take a break. Take a break. Taking two shots. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. That one goes in, two from the line that time. The Sparks trailing. Outside Hayes. Count it, good. They're not rotating quickly enough on defense down low. They've got to provide more resistance inside. Gray outside. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Pass to Mabry. Argun Bawale. She's guarded by Hayes. Gray with it. Block at six. Over Canada. That one wide left. She had all the space she needed, but just could not find the bottom of the bucket. Outside Hayes. Let's the floater go. And she's knocked off course by the D. The foul is called, and she'll shoot free throws. Such a valuable player. Jordan Canada won a couple of titles in her first few years in the WNBA. So you know she's a winning guard. Second team foul. Shooting for Los Angeles. Jordan Canada taking two shots. First free throw is good. She hits both from the strike. Dallas with the ball. They've led by as many as 11 points. Back to Mabry. Pass to Gumbawale. Five on the clock. From past the arc, it's good from long range. And you can see her confidence rising bucket after bucket from long range. Outside Hayes. They set the pick with the crossover, and it's good on the lay-in. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. And no lack of aggression on that move. That's good enough for the 2K drive. And in a tight one like this, you got to dig deep, find a way to make things happen. Here's Collier. Here's Harrison, and she was fouled in the act of shooting an opportunity for a three-point play. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first, playing smart with the lead. What's up? guys have had some good motion on offense nice assists when everybody's involved offensively it's in a way helping you defensively too here's Hayes and it's off the back of the rim no good outside of Wale. Oh. 
Six on the shot clock. The third quarter comes to a close. It's the Wings leading by eight. And we're coming back right after this break to get the fourth quarter started. Well, you can count on her for a couple of pretty assists, just like this one, each and every night. This one's a beauty. It sure is. I mean, look, she's a maestro. Great vision, a gray head on her shoulders, really everything you want in a point guard. Thanks for joining us again. The fourth quarter of play should begin in moments. Ogumake outside. Ogumake up top. Outside Canada. Pass to Ogumake. Shoots over Savali. Back to Canada. Yes, and a nice assist from Neko Ogumake. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Now here's Mabry. Duchess defending. There's a screen by McCowan. Here's Gray. Pass to McCowan. It's stolen by Ogumake. Now here's Duchess. Mabry covering. Now Ogumake. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Sykes. That'll be her second foul of the game. <laughs> That's just her first turnover. She's been so steady and a safe option for them on the offensive end. Dallas leading. Fourth quarter, still young. Just over a minute played. On the wing, Kayla Thornton. And she uses a glass on the layup. A three-level scorer. We see Thornton score from inside, outside, and in between. That's part of what makes her such a tough cover. Pass to Agumake. To the middle. Here's Canada. The shot comes out. And Dallas the other way now. And here's Harris. Now Sobley. Gray. That one falls. Great assist by Satu Sobley. Intelligent ball movement from Satu Sobley. Gets the ball to her wide open teammate. Pass to Duchess. Ogumake outside Canada. Ogumake up top. Here's Duchess. Just five to shoot. And there's the three second violation. Just a, a total loss of concentration right there. Yeah, this game could turn even more sour on them if those are the kinds of mistakes they're going to make. You need better focus. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Pass to McCowan. Here's Gray. Thornton outside. Six to shoot. And here's Harris. The three-pointer is on target. The three-point shot's been a real weapon for them in the second half. Yeah, they've done a good job of creating good looks from outside, and now they've really got it going. Oliver with the ball. They need this. Ogumake. Covered by Thornton. Here's Billings. No good. In and out. Off the rim. Dallas with the ball. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. Screen by McCowan. 
Gray outside. She can't get it to go. And the Sparks the other way now. Pass to Tolliver. Now Billings. Covered by Thornton. And that one's good, Billings. And it's the Wings ball. 11 point game. Here's Harris. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It's on Shanae Ogumake. Love the determination on the drive. Once Harris makes up her mind, she does not back down. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And she sinks the second. This spark squad struggling. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right. Their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. Here's Billings. Good. And Christy Tolliver gets the assist. They're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now. And that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. Hits it and gets hacked. That's a three-point play opportunity. You have to be disciplined on defense. Biting on every pump fake just isn't going to get it done. Trust me, I learned the hard way. One shot. They're working hard to get inside and draw contact a little more than they did in the first half, Tim. You know, and defensively, if you're trying to battle back, you can't keep sending them to the line. Pass to Billings. Back to Tolliver. Five to shoot. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Savali. You know, you watch her, and you see her mechanics are totally out of whack right now. She's lost all feel for her shot. Yeah, and it's not hard to tell. You know, just look at her numbers right now. Nothing is going down for her. Gray outside. Knocked away. Duchess with the steal. Inside. And stolen by Satu Sabali. Now here's Gray. Pass to Harris. Sobley with it. Shot clock at six. No good from 18. So it's the Sparks now. Trailing by 13. Here's Tolliver. Knocks down the 10 footer. A fluid decision maker. Tolliver knows when to take what shots. And time out, time out. he's just effective at reading defensive coverages. And the wings call time here.
Dallas with the ball. Here's Harris. Up top, Agumbawale. Up top, Harris. Clock at six. From about ten feet out. Stolen away. Here we go, all alone. Here's Billings. And the lead is down inside single digits. Dallas in the lead. Gordon outside. Outside, Sobley. There's a screen by McCowan. Shot from 12. And it's Sobley missing. Now Tolliver. Pass to Billings. Ogumake. Ogumake right side over Thornton. And it's Ogumake missing. That's one she knows she should have drained. Here's Ogumbawale. Duchess defending. Now here's Ogumbawale. He's covered closely. And here's Harris, down low. Shoots the three. Agumbawale, no good. You can tell she thought that triple was going to fall. She's just shaking her head after that miss. Risky over for three. Rebound, Dallas. That shot isn't the one they should be taking if they want to make a comeback. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Pass to Agumbawale. Shot to stop the drought. And McCowan with the layup. What an absolute force McCowan is down low. The board, the points, what a talent. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. Ogumake. And a great assist by Christy Tolliver as that one goes in. Oh, man. She is so good at making those lead passes. Now here's Harris. She's covered by Tolliver. Outside of Wale. Up top, Harris. Pass to Thornton. Harris, she's covered by Tolliver. Sobley with it. Puts up a three. Bangs home the trifecta. They're not letting up, guys. They just keep coming at them. And, and I think it's safe to say that lead is too big to overcome at this point. Just not enough time on the clock. Yeah, absolutely. Now here is Tolliver, covered by Harris. Shoots from 12. They get it again. Here's Billings. And she drops in the layup off glass. Where was the box out? Some easy second chance points. Those kinds of mistakes on the glass will kill a team. Sabali the screen. Here's a Wale. Count it. Terrific run to put this ball game away. And now let's see just how much longer they keep that foot on the accelerator. They gotta keep it on the accelerator to the finish line. Ogumake can't hit. Harris with it. And so it's Dallas easily grabbing this one. This was a very strong showing for them. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. Well, guys, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you should feel good about it. A really outstanding team effort. That'll do it for our broadcast, everyone.